to the break of dawn, yo! I hung out in my basement, the chill zone is where we chill, relax, like relax and chill all at once. Oh. What's up, guys? Chris Albano, Chris Albano Fitness. Um, seeing how it's the weekend, me and a bunch of my friends are probably going to go out tonight. I figured I'd make a video about something I get asked a lot about anyway, which is uh, alcohol and lifting, bodybuilding, like drinking and seeing the results you want, all that. I always get asked, like, can I, can I drink the way I want to? Can I go out with all my friends and still lose weight, still gain muscle, still get uh, spring break ready, all that. So I figured I'd just jump into it, the video. So let's talk about the negative and positives of drinking. Negative number one. Uh, alcohol is a diuretic. It just means it's going to dehydrate your body. The whole like the more you drink, the more you have to go to the bathroom, breaking the seal, all that. It's just because alcohol is a diuretic and it's trying to drain your body of all the fluid in it. Uh, the reason why that's important is because uh, your body is made up of mostly water, which means your muscles are made up of mostly water. So your body needs as much water as it can get um, to really perform at its peak potential and give you guys like the best workout and best results and keep the most muscle or build the most muscle that you can. So being dehydrated is going to really hurt your gains. Negative number two, um, the empty and negative calories that you're going to get from drinking empty calories or anything from alcohol itself. Um, there's about 100 calories in one shot of like Tito's, one shot of Svetka, um, Everclear, like plain vodka, something like that. And the negative calories are anything that you start adding into the alcohol to make it a mixed drink, to make it taste good, like the carbs in beer. Um, all the sugar from a cranberry vodka, all the like sugar and carbs from a Sprite and vodka, a rum and coke, tequila sunrise, all that, all the added stuff, unless it's diet, unless it's sugar free and all that, that's all just negative calories on top of the empty calories that you're getting from the alcohol itself. So if you're trying to lose weight, trying to cut for spring break, trying to cut for the summer, whatever it is, um, either try to avoid drinking mixed drinks or if you do, just try to get like the calorie free version, sugar free version of it. Negative number three, um, it's probably the worst one, is the hangover. And that's going to come from dehydration. It's going to come from um, all the sugar from the mixed drinks. And it's going to come from the alcohol, like the toxin in your body. Um, the reason why this is probably like the most important one, in my opinion, is because it's going to hinder your performance the next day. It's like drinking may not be good for your calories in, calories out. It might help you like keep more fat than you want to, all that. The hangover is going to stop you from working out the next day or stop you from working out as hard as you should be the next day. So no one wakes up after a night of drinking saying, like, oh, I can't wait to go in the gym. I'm going to lift more than I ever have. I'm going to run more than I ever have. Now you feel miserable. You don't really want to get out of bed. Your stomach hurts. Your head hurts. You're nauseous. All this. You're sluggish. You sleep in late. Um, so the hangover is really just going to ruin your next day and ruin your next workout. So if you're going to drink and you plan and you think you're going to end up being hungover, I'd really just take the next day off as a rest day or just do cardio or something, sweat out the alcohol, or just, just take it easy and lift it. It's, it doesn't exist. Um, but there is a positive side in finding balance in your life. You shouldn't let fitness take over your entire life. If you prioritize it, great. If you don't, great. Um, you just really need to understand what you're doing and like just have common sense when it comes to all this stuff. Like If you're going out every night drinking until you can't remember the night before, you're not going to see the results you want to. If you go out, have a couple beers with friends, have a couple drinks with friends, um, do all that, you can still absolutely see results. You're still going to lose weight, you're still going to build muscle, whatever your goal is, you can still do it. Um, don't let fitness, don't let the gym, bodybuilding, all that, don't let it take over your life. Because um, once you do that, once you're beyond obsessed with it, once you start like isolating yourself from friends and family and social scenes, it, it doesn't become fun anymore. You're just you're gonna lose a drive for it. You're gonna lose the motivation. It's it's not gonna be there, and then you're gonna quit entirely. Because if it's not fun, and you're still not really seeing the results you want to, why are you doing it? You're gonna quit. Uh, so I guess the most important thing to take away from this video is if you're gonna drink, understand what you're doing, understand what you're putting into your body, and the effect it's gonna have on your performance in the gym, outside the gym, the hangover the next day, all that, and then understand that it's just as important. Uh, to have a social life as it is to focus on your goals. If you like the video, if you learned anything about it, subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.